I have gathered my uh, correct medications. Um, I would wash my hands. I have my correct syringe and um, it is an insulin syringe because it is in units and the needle is attached to it. Um, I am going to, um, and I have the, I've selected the correct insulins, the NPH and the regular, and now I'm going to compare it with my MAR, my MAR, um, regular insulin, 12 units, and I have regular insulin and the vial has not expired, and I have insulin NPH and it has not expired and I have insulin NPH on my MAR. And now... I am going to roll my insulins. Well, I'm going to roll my NPH just to mix it. Okay, and now I'm going to take an alcoholic prep pad and clean my NPH top. Now I'm going to clean my regular insulin top. Okay. And I'm placing my vials on a flat surface. I'm going to take my syringe and safely uncap it. Okay, with my NPH, I have 20 units, so I'm going to pull back 20 units of air. And now I'm going to put in my 20 units and I'm going to put my air into it. Careful not to touch the medication with the needle. Okay. And now I'm going to take back um, 12 units of regular insulin or 20 units of air for my regular insulin. Okay. I have 12 units of air. I'm putting it in the regular, putting it, and now I'm going to invert it and pull back 12 units. I would check for air bubbles, and now I would take it and verify it with the registered RNs that I've pulled back 12 units of regular insulin. Okay, pull it out, place it there, and now I have to put in 20 units of NPH insulin. Since I already have 12 in there, I'm gonna pull back to uh, 32. So put in. Okay, and now I'm going to check for air bubbles. I have it at 32. I cannot put any back into this vial. I am at 32. Check for air bubbles. There are none. I'm going to pull it out for 32 units. And now I'm going to take it, uncap, and I'm going to safely recap my needle. And I would go verify it with another uh, registered nurse.